team's execution down the stretch. Down the stretch. What are you supposed to do? Kind of feeling are you, what kind of feeling are you left with after this game? I mean, you guys played better, but you still came up short. I mean, we lost the game. Uh, we got another one tomorrow. Uh, quick turnaround, we got to get our rest. Uh, long flight, but uh, we got to be ready to play tomorrow against Atlanta. Ronald, what do you think, from just from your perspective, where things went wrong tonight for you guys? Was it just down the stretch there, or was it something early in the game, or what? Um, well, we know we gave them a 10 point lead. We're fighting back in the entire fourth quarter. Um, you know, at the end of the day, they made more shots than us. They had some big threes. Um, you know, I turned the ball, I think, two or three times in the fourth, which, which we can't do, which I can't do, that allowed them to score. So, um, you know, they just made the better plays. The last few games, Ron, it seems that the defense is playing a little bit ahead of the offense. Does that surprise you at all? No. Well, it's just basketball. Rajan, is it a positive sign that when you guys step on the gas pedal, the energy is still there at the end of a game, considering where you are right now, to you know, make up a 10-point de deficit? Yeah, but we don't want to keep saying that. You know, we lost the game. Uh, we put ourselves in the situation. So, um, you know, it's a, a loss is a loss. You, know? you can try to take some positive out of it, but at the end of the day, you know, we lost the game. And uh, I said we have to move forward now and move on to Atlanta. Does it mean anything to you? Get a triple double, or is the loss wipe that out? Yeah, it wipes it out. I mean, it's kind of irrelevant when you uh, say you score 40 or 50 points. You know, if you lose, you lose. So it's all that matters is W's and L's. You guys went through this last year, a couple of five game losing streaks, as a matter of fact. What maintains your confidence that this is going to turn around? Um, I like our group. You know, I like our guys. Um, we, have, we have a ton of group of guys, guys that listen. It's just. Um, you know, right now, we're not, we're not getting it done. It's like night and day. You know, we won six in a row. Uh, we were clicking on all cylinders, but now uh, you know, it's not five, all five guys on one time throughout the game of 48 minutes. You know, we go through stretches where um, you know, we may be not scoring the ball, but our defense is lacking as well. So you just got to pick it up collectively as a team and, and individually as well. You guys, get, you guys are getting some good shots. You're just not hitting right now. Is this just a stretch that teams go through right now? You just have to kind of get through? We have to find a way. You know, we have to get some easier looks, um, convert in transition, and convert on turnovers as well. Um, you know, somebody else besides Paul gets to the free throw line. Uh, we got to still stay aggressive in attack. You know, we're a jump shooting team, but uh, we can all we can all draw fast. What do you think the scene will be like on Sunday for you guys when Ray Allen comes back? For the first time? Well, we're not worried about that. We're worried about Atlanta tomorrow. Final question, folks. Yeah. What's up? First time in five years, Paul, and the All-Star team. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, we're worried about Atlanta tomorrow. You know, I got to ask that question to Paul.